Welcome to update number seven to installing an atomic four in a 17 foot wooden homemade boat. This is overview of what it looks like uh, right now. I actually have the bimini top up so that when I'm working on the darn thing I don't fall out. Let's go down and look at some of the detail of the progress that I've made since my last update. Since my last update, I've completed this a utility locker uh, that basically holds my batteries and my gas tanks. I'll be running two six-gallon gas tanks and two deep charge, uh, deep discharge marine batteries that fit in this open compartment here. Uh, in the aft section of this compartment, there's two conduits on the port and starboard conduits that go through to the engine compartment to accommodate the battery cables and the gas lines. The utility compartment is made out of treated pine uh, which I'll just paint. Uh, but surrounding the compartment is a one inch lip. You can see that one inch lip that goes all the way around it. Well, that's, that one inch lip is contain is, is going to be around the engine compartment. You can see there's a one inch lip. Uh, there'll be a one inch lip along here. And I've also already got the one inch lip on the aft build sections. Okay, this uh, equipment compartment will be covered with a hatch, uh, a lid, uh, it'll be made out of oak like this one. It is uh, solid oak with this, this edging here that will lap over uh, will lap over this edging right here to make this thing uh, rainwater tight. And the same uh, theory goes for the engine compartment. Uh, this engine compartment will be covered with panels, removable panels, three of them. And the hatch will overlap the panels and all that overlapping and including the overlapping ridge right there will make this also rainwater tight. Moving aft, I've uh, also constructed a movable a, a movable floor. Uh, this floor needs to be movable so that I can have access to the equipment underneath the floor so I can have access to the uh, water intake. I've installed that since last time. Uh, that right there is uh, treated, uh, treated wood that's been laminated in place with epoxy and screwed uh, with a big bracket uh, underneath the hull. So that thing is uh, totally solid. That's a ball valve. Um, but I need to be able to get to the packing gland. I need to be able to get to the packing gland down there and to the shaft coupler and all that stuff. Uh, so all this mechanics here requires this movable floor. Continuing aft, I've got the seat braces all installed uh, this will be this will have a uh, this will have a an oak top uh, I'll have an oak uh, an oak top on the top of the engine compartment 
an oak top on the top of the utility compartment and an oak top on the uh, on the seat continuing aft I've also built a rudder this is the rudder handle uh, it's laminated oak covered in spar uh, varnish and stained with uh, red oak stain I made the I made it pretty made it pretty stout stuff that part of it this these are gate hinges here uh, galvanized gate hinges and then the rest of the rudder is the rest of the rudder is is just laminated uh, uh, plywood and epoxy and fiberglass but it's removable I didn't know how to make a rudder and it seemed like uh, there was a lot of uh, tribal knowledge when it came to building rudders so I just built one and if it doesn't work I will detach it and keep my handle and put my new my new one on there if this doesn't work main thing I did with it is I made sure that the rudder extended down deeper than my my propeller uh, so if I get in some shallow water my rudder will hit before my uh, propeller does well that's my that's my status I I guess I didn't talk about the equipment or my gauge panel uh, this is my gauge panel here I'm going to have a tack uh, oil pressure gauge uh, that will be my volt uh, gauge right there and uh, that will be my temperature uh, these three switches right here uh, the top switch will be a fuel pump ignition and starter and I'm going to put my choke and throttle over here I still don't know where I'm going to put my radio and my GPS but I guess that'll I'll figure that out later okay that's my status uh, so far for so thanks for thanks for watching and uh, make sure if you have any questions go ahead and uh, go ahead and ask them and if you live close to Myrtle Beach South Carolina Come on by and see it sometime. See you later.